Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. And today I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. The reason why I want to do that is because that helps me in increasing, you know, the community that I started about eight months ago and I've been enjoying creating videos. So please subscribe to the channel because that really helps me out. And today I want to start working on and actually applying the cloth component that I created in the previous video to something that is more realistic, something like a car. So I'm gonna be walking you through basically an example that I created where we're gonna be smashing a sphere against the car. And then I'll walk you through some of the setup, what we need to do on the 3D model to make this happen. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today, which is to actually use this example for a real application. And what I want to do is I want to, instead of demolishing a sphere, and even though this looks really cool, there's really not a lot of uses for this other than it looks, you know, it looks cool and it's abstract and it gives us really cool informations. But if you wanted to use this for something real like clothes and, and real clothing or maybe even demolishing a car, then that's when I think, you know, cloth could be very useful. And what I want to do in this video is I want to show you how we can actually use it for, you know, possibly destroying a car. It might not look, you know, perfect, but I think it'll give us an idea of what we need to do in order to get, you know, such an effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download an asset that I've been, that I've been using for demos like this. So I'm going to go into the asset store and download a car that I already I basically already downloaded for another demo. So I'm gonna go in and let me actually go into my assets. And I have, so I normally use this hot rod or also the retro, retro cartoons car. And this is by RCC Design. So I want to basically thank them for providing us with this asset. I think that's the, you know, the, mo the most polite way to and, and to be gratitude about this person posting this asset. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download it and I already downloaded it, I'll just, I'll just import it. So let me just click on that and then we'll just hit import. And because we're using the HDRP, which is the high definition rendering pipeline, which gives us this really cool rendering, we might need to upgrade some of the materials that this asset provides. So I done that before, so I know that it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the asset I downloaded, which is this retro, retro cartoon car, and I'm gonna go in, look for the materials. You could also basically upgrade all the materials from the project. You can go into the edit option and go into render pipeline, and I believe you can do upgrade project materials to high definition, and that basically is gonna search for any materials that the scene has that needs to be upgraded. Sometimes that doesn't really work. As you can see, that, that didn't really work. Let me let me go ahead and select them. And in fact, I'm just gonna go, oh, it looks like it did work. So these are just the different rigs. So let me try to add the prefab to the scene. So before we do that, let's go ahead and create a new scene. I want to leave this scene intact so that you have it as a reference. And in fact, I'm just gonna rename it. Right now it's called Sample Scene. So I want to start, I'm going to be doing a lot of experiments in this project. So this one is going to basically going to be called the sphere. So we just call it, we can call it spheres. And let's go into another scenes on the car. Let's go to the scenes on the project level and then go into the sample scene and I'm just going to call it spheres. Perfect. And it's going to say, yeah, do we want to reload it because we rename it? We're just going to say yes. And I think we can just leave this sample scene as it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and clone. I'm gonna clone these spheres. And it's called this other one. It's gonna be car. Excellent. And let's go ahead and double click it. Okay, now that we double click it, we can go ahead and modify some of the things that we're gonna do here. So the I'm gonna leave the colliders. We won't need the main, the main sphere because we're gonna be replacing that with a car. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new 3D object and this one is gonna be a cube. And this is basically gonna be the floor. I want I want the car to basically stand on, on something that looks like a road. And by all means, I don't I'm doing this by 
you know, I, I'm not prepared for this video whatsoever. I'm just going with what I know. So if there's better ways to do anything, let me know through the, you know, through the comments because I'm always, I'm always happy to, to find different ways of doing things. But so this is what I'm going to do. I'll just make it thinner. Excellent. And I think, I think that car can be, can be right, right about there. Excellent. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new material and we're going to go into our materials folder. We can just say create material. We'll call this one road. We'll just assign that to the, the floor that we just created. Make sure that it gets highlighted. And if it doesn't, we'll just go ahead and do it on the, sometimes I find it easier to do it in the hierarchy. And then we'll just call this one road. And we can just change the colors and possibly the, the look and just make it and just make it dark gray. I think that works. I don't know that I need to make it metallic. Maybe something something like that. I think that, that works. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so now that we have the road, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be bringing in the car that we imported. And this is gonna be the Cicada. It looks like the materials are associated. For some reason, this doesn't refresh. I might just need to refresh this view. Let's try that. Okay, let's try to add it and see what happens. Okay, it looks like that works. For some reason, this hasn't updated. So we have our car, which, you know, right now doesn't really look that great, but that's okay, we'll, we'll fix it. I'll show you some other things that we're gonna do to, to improve the look and feel of the materials. And the purpose of this video, like I said, is to basically smash the car. So I wanna spend a lot of time into going into the materials and how they work in HTRP because I have another video for that that you can, I'm gonna link that in the description of this video. Okay, so now that I have the car, basically just gonna move, let's move the sphere, which is gonna be the main sphere. Let's go ahead and move it up. So I'll just use the, let's see, I wanna move it on Y and possibly right about there. And that's gonna be our main, that's gonna be the main sphere. And then this other one, where they're gonna, we, we can keep them in there. They could also be helping to smash the car. In fact, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna allow this sphere to basically be moved and smash the car in this direction. And then these ones can basically affect the the smashing of the car in different directions. So one more thing that I wanna do before we start working in there, I want to I want to start looking at the materials because I think. So if I look at, there we go. Let's make it a little more metallic. Cause I think that, there we go. Something like that will work. And then the smoothness, we can also, can also change it. And then we're not gonna be smashing the windows. So what I'll do is, let me go ahead and see, I'm gonna unpack the prefab completely because I wanna make changes to it. It doesn't need to be a, a prefab for this project. Okay, now that I have done that, now I can basically modify the components without having, you know, affecting the prefab. So I'm not gonna worry about the glass, so I'm just gonna remove the glass. The, we can leave the inside, I think leaving the inside will look cool. The, the doors, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I only want to smash, basically I'm gonna add a cloth component to the outer piece, pieces of the car. If you were doing this for real, what I would do is basically convert this to one mesh and then have that mesh, have the cloth. The the way that this was modeled is modeled into multiple pieces, so that's why I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna do, let's see, the wheels, we can leave the wheels. I don't think I need to do anything crazy in there. And I think, let's see, the collider, we can leave the collider, it's okay. And okay, perfect, I think I'm, I think I'm good with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into our main sphere and I'm gonna copy the cloth component. Let me see if I have, yeah, let's let's see. Let me go ahead and, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and copy and copy component. And we'll go into the, the car, but instead of going into the main object, let's go into where we have the actual mesh, which in this case happens to be at this level. Cause you wanna, we're gonna be deforming the body. And if you look at this, this is basically the mesh associated with this component. So you wanna make sure that you add it at that level. So I'll do, I'll do one thing. So I'll just add the cloth component and then I'll paste the component values. The reason why I wanna do that is because 
I want to copy all the different colliders that this is going to be interacting with, meaning that these are the spheres that are going to be smashing the car. So one that we don't have is basically the main sphere. So I'm just going to increment the size of the colliders to 9. And, and then I'll go into the main sphere. We can call the main sphere collider 0 if you wanted to. Like we can just leave it main sphere. I think, I think that's fine. And then what I'll do on this one, I'm not going to have a cloth component anymore. And I'm also going to remove the skin mesh render. And looks like that I got rid of the whole thing by by doing that. That's okay. We can just delete it. I'll just use this one as a reference. And then we can name this one Collider 9. I think this, this is better. Let's just call it Collider 9. And then I'll basically align it to be right above the car. And there we go. I think I really like this setup. And, and then what we'll do instead of, let's see, let's not resize it that way. Let's resize it this way. So we'll just do 2 to 2 on ZZZ. And I think that's too big. Let's do 1.5, 1.5 on Y, and 1.5 on Z. There we go. And I think, excellent. And I think that that's good. OK, excellent. So now let's go back into our model. Which is gonna, which happens to be the cicada uh, underscore high, and and then we're gonna be associating the last component. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna need the last element because we duplicated. We basically incremented the array. It copies the value from the previous element to the new element. So we need to associate the new game object to the last element. And I believe that's everything that we need to do. And let me make sure that we're not using gravity, otherwise this is going to fall. And let's see what happens if we hit play. And OK, so there we go. So right now we're not, we're not seeing any changes. Let's see how this is going to affect the car. And you can see that that's so cool. That, that is affecting the car as I, you know, as I go down. If I, OK, let's see. So we have something really weird happening here. And this is because this is a different component. This is the inside. So if you wanted to have, to have the inside be affected by the colliders, we would need to add the component. So let's see. Let, let's see if we can fix that. Let's go ahead and we could even get rid of the inside, or I can keep it. Let's see if we can. You know what we can do? We can easily just copy this component, just like I did with the other one. Let's see if that fixes it. And then, and I haven't tried this to be honest. So I'm going to do add a cloth component to this one, and then we're just gonna paste the values. And let's go ahead and make sure that everything got set. So everything got set correctly. So so now we have two different cloth components, which I wasn't planning on having, but I think that's gonna work. One is gonna be affecting the body of the car, and the other one is gonna be affecting the inside. And of course, you can change the settings. You can basically, you know. If the inside is of a different material, you might want to change you know, some of the settings on the inside component. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna this is gonna be affecting the car. And, and in fact that's actually working. That's that's really cool. But then we have <laughs> we have the car falling into the nowhere. And let me see, even though we didn't we didn't set the gravity, so we can we can fix that. I'll show you. I'll show you what, how we can fix that. So the other thing that we can do is we can go into. So if we go to the outer car, and we click on this dot, we can paint some components. And and right now we we have the max distance set to you know 0 0.02, and we could paint some of these components so that the car doesn't actually fall. We can use the brush. To do that, and I can, you know, I can say, you know, on on anything that I'm painting, the max thing is going to be zero. So by setting that to zero, now I can go ahead and paint everything that I'm selecting. Let me see if I can change this to 0.2, so we don't paint. There we go. So you can kind of see as I'm painting, it's going to draw them as red, and that basically means that those components are going to have a max distance of zero, which is really cool. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to go around. And this doesn't need to be perfect because this is just a demo. You can kind of see the power of this as I'm doing. 
let's see, maybe we, we leave this area there so it doesn't fall. Then I do that as well. And there we go. Then we can probably just do a little bit of a, an angle on the, t on the tires. I was gonna say tears, my Spanish kick in. <laughs> let's see, all right, so that, that works. And the other thing that you can do, and I, and I didn't mention this on the previous video, if you uncheck the max distance and you go and try to paint it, it's going to actually unpaint them. So if you want to undo what you did, you can basically uncheck it, paint again, it's gonna remove the previously painted option. So I'm gonna basically set it back. And that's something that I didn't cover on the previous video, which I thought was really helpful. All right, so now I think, I think we're good there. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I hit play to see the simulation. And just give it a second here. Excellent. So now we can see. So we're smashing the car. And it's basically, it's a staying in place. The reason why it's staying in place is because I set the max distance on some of the vertices on the bottom to have a zero. So it's basically not falling into the nowhere. The other thing, this is actually looking like a balloon so it doesn't really look like a car <laughs> so we can fix that too we can we can improve it i won't say that it would be perfect but we can play with some of these settings like the stretching the stiffness and also the bending stiffness let's hit play and see see what we can do with this so if i go and set this let's try setting this to one and see what we get and then i'll go ahead and move this down and you can see how that it's changing a little bit, not that much, but you can also, so if we want to go, let's go to zero and see what happens if I do a zero. And I believe the simulation takes the values. Yeah, see how that, even, even if I didn't touch it that much, it basically was affected quite a bit by the sphere. But if I go back and I set it to a one, you will see how that is changing the, so let's go ahead and change it to a one. Change it to a one here. The, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this one to zero, and then let's try and see what happens. And like I said, you can try different settings. And there we go. So we get, you know, that kind of looks more metallic, because we're saying kind of looks more low poly. Like if you were to apply that to another sphere, it would look like it's a lot, you know, low poly because of the stiffness on the stretching. So I'm gonna say, you know, I like number one and number one. And, and then you can also change with like change the friction if you wanted to change the friction we could do that the collision ma max scale we can do maybe 0.5 there let's also let's let's go ahead and hit play so that we don't lose those changes and let's go ahead and change it back to friction of one the the solver frequency is very important I'm gonna double it just to see if we get if we get better results I'm also going to change this sphere to be one 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 because I want to see how that changes the the collision and if we do that you can kind of see that that's changing there you can also move this one right here so I can say oh I'm smashing you know smash against the car the other cool thing is we see how the particles some of the parts of the car are actually falling and I can do that so you know if this was a car and you were smashing into it you can get some really cool effects. And it looks like everything is just all over the place. Let's go ahead and go back. And let's hit play one more time. Let's make the main sphere much bigger now. Let's go ahead and make it, yeah, something like that. And if you want it, wanted to smash the car, you could do that as well. So they can kind of give you, give you an idea of what, you know, the power of using cloth. And of course, this is, you know, this needs a lot of tweaking in order to make it look real. But that is basically an overview of what you can do with the cloth component. I also show you how you can basically deselect some of the painted values that we said. We also painted some values on the bottom so that we didn't have the car falling into the nowhere just because the collision was happening. And I also show you a little trick so you can, you couldn't do what you painted. So that's basically what I'm gonna cover today. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net. They have amazing resources for game developers, also amazing forums, and a great community. 
Also, find me on Patreon where I'm posting these videos as well. And I'm also posting early access to the source code. All the projects that I'm doing on the videos, I'm posting there basically a couple of days in advance. So be sure to check me out there and support me if you can. Thank you, guys.